find the odd man out of these numbers. This is the odd man out. Why? Because all of the other numbers are perfect square. Right? 1 can be written as 1 square, 4 can be written as 2 square, this is 3 square, 4 square, 20 cannot be represented in terms of squares. Right? It is not a perfect square. 36 is 6 square and 49 is 7 square. Right? So 20 is the odd man out. Let's solve the next question. This series seems to be a pattern of cubes. So 8 can be written as 2 cube, 27 is 3 cube, 64 is 4 cube, but 100 cannot be written in terms of cubes because it is not a perfect cube. 125 is 5 cube, 216 is 6 cube and 343 is 7 cube. Right, so the odd man out is 100. Which one could be the odd man out in this list of numbers? Well, this one might seem a little bit tricky. If you observe very, very carefully, you'll see that all of these are three-digit numbers in the form of x, y, z. And in most of the numbers, you'll get y is equals to x plus z. That means the middle digit is the addition of, you know, the digits on its sides. Right, so in the first number, we can see that 5 plus 3 gives you 8. Right? In the second, we have 4 plus 2 gives you 6. And in the third, 5 plus 2 is 7. Here, 3 plus 6 is obviously 9. 4 plus 7 does not give you 2. Here, 6 plus 1 gives you 7. And in the last one, you have 4 plus 2, that's 6, the middle digit. But this number is problematic. So that's the odd man out. And that is option B. Next question, what is the odd man out? Well, this one's similar to the previous question. All numbers are three-digit numbers, let's say in the form of x, y, z. And if you observe carefully, you'll see that this middle digit is actually the difference of the rest of the digits. Right? So y is x minus z. So let's see which number does not follow this rule. So the first number, 8 minus 5, that's 3. So this follows our rule. The second one, 7 minus 4 is 3. So this is correct. 6 minus 2 is 4. So this one's also correct. 7 minus 1 is not 5. So this is the odd man out. The rest of the numbers, they follow the same rule. 8 minus 3 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. 5 minus 2 is 3. So 7, 51 is the odd man out. So option A is the correct answer. Let us find the odd man out in this list of numbers. So again, all are three digit numbers in the form of x, y, and z, right? And if you observe carefully, you'll see that the product of x and z is the middle number. Let's see if all of these numbers fit into this rule or not. So 3 times 1 is 3, right? The left number times the right number gives you the middle number. So 331 follows the rule. 4 times 2 is 8, so this is correct. 5 times 1 gives you 5, so this is also correct. 2 times 3 is 6, so this fits into the rule. 3 times 3 should give you 9, so this should be basically 393, and that is not the case. So 383 is the odd man out. What is the case with 242? 2 times 2 is 4, so this is correct, and 1 times 1 is 1, so this is also correct. So the answer is option B. So, what's the odd man out in this series? Okay, at first this question is very tricky. Let us subtract 1 from each of this number or let us rewrite each of this number. So, I can write 2 as 1 plus 1. 
right? 5 can be written as 4 plus 1, 10 can be written as 9 plus 1, 17 is 16 plus 1, 26 is 25 plus 1, I have 37 which is 36 plus 1, 50 is 49 plus 1 and 64 is 63 plus 1. Now you may comprehend that there is some pattern or there is some relation. Well, if you don't understand it, let us again rewrite it. 1 plus 1 can be written as 1 square plus 1, right? 4 plus 1 can be written as 2 square plus 1, isn't it? 9 plus 1 is 3 square plus 1, 16 plus 1 is 4 square plus 1. In the same way, this pattern goes on. So this is 5 square plus 1, this is 6 square plus 1, 49 is 7 square plus 1, but 63 is not a perfect square, right? Hence, this number 64 is the odd man out. This is the final question. What is the answer? Well, all are three digit numbers, so let us write them as x, y, and z. Let us represent them as this form. Now you can try and see if the first or second number, if the addition gives the third number or the addition of, you know, the numbers at the corners gives the middle number or something like that. But none of them work in this series. So how would you solve this? Well, you'll have to observe very, very, very closely. So if you add all of the digits of this number, that's x plus y plus z, it gives you 10. Let's see which number does not fit into this rule. So 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 3 is 10. In this case, 136, 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 3 is 10. So this fits the rule. So 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2 is 10. Again, 352 is, you know, it follows the rule. 6 plus 4 plus 0 is 10. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 4 is 9. So this does not follow the rule. Let's see if others do follow the rule or not. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So this follows. 2 plus 4 which is 6 plus 4 is 10. So we found out what's the odd man out. 324. Tricky. Huh?